Have you ever heard the phrase, context is key? Or somebody using something out of context? Uh, maybe uh, the most usable, versatile, multi-defined word ever made is the word dude. When I was growing up, that's a word we used a lot. Uh, whenever something surprised you, you're like, dude! You know, when something somebody embarrassed themselves, dude, you know? There's lots of different ways that we would use the word dude, all right? It was just the most versatile word ever. Um, and it always meant something different, and how would we know what it meant? By context, right? Now, some people have a, a ulterior motive, or they want to force the Bible to say something uh, that they want it to say, but that the, never really meant that to begin with. Uh, it goes back to the first rule of interpretation we talked about yesterday. It, it will always mean what it meant to the original audience, right? We can't force it to say something that the original writer of the Bible never intended. This, whenever somebody uh, takes their own interpretation and forces the Bible to say it, we say they're taking something out of context, right? My favorite example of somebody uh, doing something out of context is in Matthew 24. Um, there was this preacher one day who really, this was back in the 50s when those Marge Simpson uh, hairdos were super popular and uh, uh, those kind of bun, you know, Donald Trump, but, hot, but more on steroids kind of hairdos. And um, he, he hated those hairdos. He thought they were terrible. And so he wanted to find a Bible verse to explain why God was against the bun style hairdo. And this is the verse he used, Matthew 24, 17. It'll be super clear. Let him who is on the housetop not come down or take anything with him. Well, that's obvious. It's talking about the hairdo, right? No, he's taking something totally out of context. There where it says not come down, he was saying, well, that means the hair knot must come down. Out of context. Absolutely not at all what that Bible verse is talking about. It's talking about the day of Jesus' return. Nothing to do with hairstyles. So when we study God's word, we got to make sure we're fitting the correct context. And that's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Uh, when you think about context in a Bible passage, think about it like a neighborhood, okay? Every verse is in a neighborhood. It, it, in, in most places in the Bible, uh, exception might be like the book of Proverbs, but most places in the Bible, it fits a context, okay? There's something being talked about in that chapter and in that book of the Bible, and, and, and you don't take just one verse that doesn't fit the rest of the neighborhood and just pluck that out and say, here's what this means without the other verses around it, okay? So the first thing we do when we think about context is we look at the verses in the neighborhood, okay? So if you're having a little trouble with a verse and trying to understand what that passage means, look at the verses before it and the verses after it, okay? Maybe read the whole chapter and kind of get a picture of the neighborhood that verse is found in. Okay, and that'll help you give some picture or a better picture of what we call the context, where you don't make the mistake that I talked about in the intro of forcing the Bible to say something you want it to say. Okay, that's a terrible mistake and a very dangerous thing. We want God's Word to speak to us on its own without anybody messing it up. So look at that neighborhood, look at the verses around the passage to get a better picture of what's happening in that verse. We call that the rule of context. You don't ever want to take something out of context because you can force anybody to say anything you want if you take a sentence out of context. They do it on the news every day, especially in a political election cycle, right? Everything somebody says, they can say it means something totally different if they take it out of context. If we're not careful, we do the same thing with God's Word. Let's go back to the original context the verses around that passage, and see what it really meant. And that'll help us interpret God's word correctly. 